In this vlog, I plant some pumpkins. I do a few little DIYs. I organize, I show you guys what I got from Amazon, and I go on a little camping trip. So I randomly decided to buy some stuff to make coasters. Honestly, I saw it going around on TikTok a lot of people getting clay and making like little things. So that's what I did. I made this evil eye coaster and a coaster holder. I didn't film the process because honestly, it was like a few days of making this. I had this really old, ugly chair. Well, like it was not ugly, it's just really dirty. So don't judge me because it wasn't mine. So this dirty chair, I wanted to basically refurbish it but i didn't have any fabric and it was really late so i decided to use this old curtain to just replace the fabric for now until i find a fabric that i actually like so yeah i mean these curtains were going to go in the trash anyway so i might as well use it for something I ordered some stuff, but what's new? It took me one video to be influenced by the creator to convince me to buy this basically, which it was on Facebook Reels, which is super random. Like it wasn't even a TikTok thing, which I guess it kind of was, but whatever. Anyway, so it comes with 150, I think. Oh shoot. So basically just like little sets and the girl just made it seem like super easy to like just size them up real quick. She said that these were super thick, which yes, these seem like really good quality. It was $25 for, I think there is like a hundred, uh, oh no. So it's 300 pieces. Does that mean, so how many sets do I get out of that? Girl, what's the math? Anyway, so it's three in one soft gel system. You can soak them off, whatever. The only thing I don't like about these is that they are matte and I hate matte nails because when you put lotion on, it just looks weird. It just, I didn't realize that these were matte. So that's kind of my fault, but I could just go over it with like gel 
top coat and we're good, you know? So we'll actually see how well these hold up because I don't like these. I just did these like yesterday or something and I don't like them, which by the way, the nail glue I use is this uh, Nail Bond. This is so good. Guaranteed it keeps your nails on for at least two weeks. And y'all know, y'all know I'm a press on girly. So that's really good for me. Also, what I liked about these is that it came with like different colors. So the undertone is brown. They had like a nude pink color, but sometimes I don't don't like the French tips with the nude pink color when it's press-ons because they look a little bit too transparent for me and I don't like that. So I think the brown is really cute. Anyway, we'll do that later. I ordered a little mini skirt. I don't know. I just, I saw these shoes. They're like these platform converse looking shoes, but they're black and pink. And so I was like, I need those shoes. They're not on sale yet. Like we'll talk about the shoes later, but basically like I want to buy these shoes when they're released, but they're not released yet. And when I get those shoes, I wanted an outfit to match it. So that's what provoked me to buy this skirt. Anyway, look how cute. This will be for like at home and OnlyFans. I actually really hope it fits. Let's talk about that. Okay, well, if it fits, then it's obviously gonna be posted on my Only Friends, you know? Well, last thing I ordered were these shoes. I'm not like a sneaker head. I don't really care about name brands. I never really did. So I saw these. I don't have like black running shoes. I have like every everything else but black. I just wanted like just black sneakers. And these were on sale for like $22 or something on Amazon. Everything's from Amazon. Oh, this was on sale too. I think they're lying. Honestly, I think that they lie. They're like, oh, the original price is this, but it's on sale for this. Like, girl, I think you're a liar, Amazon. So this was $9. The nails were $25 total for that whole pack, and then the shoes. I'll probably do my nails later. It's just, it's kind of a process, and that glue is really good, so I actually do have to soak off my nails. I don't know. You know what? Maybe I'll just leave these on because I'm about to go on like a little camping trip, so maybe I'll just go camping with the ugly nails. You know, they're green, they're foresty, like it fits the vibes, so. Actually, you guys, I forgot to mention, I ordered some other outfits, and I haven't even wore them yet. And I got this like maybe a week or two ago. This one is really cute. It's kind of like a Christmas theme because I thought we were gonna do like a Christmas in July party, but I guess not. So I guess I'll just, I guess I'll just have my own little party. I don't know. I bought, well, I bought three outfits for me and my two other friends, but I only got two in the mail. The third one is still not here. So what's going on, but whatever. Um, this is really cute. So this is the top and then the skirt. Super cute little mini. And then the thong, which the thong is like non-negotiable because these little um, puff ball things, they kind of like hang over the skirt, like at the top. I can't describe it um, if you're interested, but you know, I'll, I'll be posting it on my only friends. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I hate these type of like little G-strings that come with outfits because they're never a good time, but I have to wear it for the little things, you know? So there's that outfit. And then this is not really an outfit. It's supposed to be like a skirt, okay? You're supposed to like wrap it around your waist, but I don't know. I don't really, I don't know. I don't know how to wear it because like it's long. So you're supposed to like wrap it around your waist. Bitch. Okay, this is a weird angle, sorry. So you're supposed to like wrap it around, but I just think that it's long. Like that's weird. So like where else am I, sp I don't know. This, this doesn't really make sense. I don't really, know what to do with it. Do you guys know what you're, how, or how you're supposed to wear this? Yeah, I don't know. I'm slumped. I'm really slumped on this one, but it's cute. Once I figure it out, I'm sure it's going to be a really, really cute. I don't know if y'all have noticed or not, but I'm always wearing long sleeves in my videos, I feel like, and it's hot as freak outside. And so you're probably like, why are you wearing like a cardigan or long sleeves or a robe, whatever. Um, it's because I recently, like, I guess d developed, I don't really know anything about it, but I guess I have like psoriasis or whatever, and it's really ugly on my arms and some parts of my legs too. And so like, I've just been super insecure about it, honestly. Like, I just hate the way it looks. Um, I have an appointment with the dermatologist, uh, literally in two weeks because this week I'm going to be gone. So I have to do it the following week. So it's kind of annoying. Um, I've been using this Sarah V stuff for psoriasis whatever whatever um it's so it's kind of helping but i don't know i just felt like i had to say that because it's kind of i don't know i've just been really like not really feeling the whole like wear a summer dress or wear 
shorts and a tank top vibe because my skin is exposed and I hate it and it's just really uncomfortable for me and like it's like ugh, don't look at my skin and obviously with these really cute outfits like I'm gonna take some pictures and videos wearing them like here in a minute to post but I also have to kind of work around like my skin right now and it's like um yeah I don't really like it also if y'all have any tips about I'm not gonna show you because I just really hate it like I seriously hate it but if you guys have any tips to better it, I mean, I'm not a professional and you're probably not either, but if you have any tips, let me know. Like I said, I'm seeing a dermatologist, so like it's gonna get fixed eventually, but just right now I just hate some parts of my skin. I just wanted to talk about that briefly. This drawer in particular is pretty messy. Like I just don't really have a place for all of these little things. So I want to organize it like all these random clips like honestly this is just like i don't know it's just like a random drawer trip slash camping trip i was only really gone maybe less than two days i don't really know this is the airbnb it was so cute because it was right on the lake and they provided kayaks and a little boat and a little paddle boat also really important that it was fenced in for the dogs lately i've just been doing more chill relaxed things like i know my vlogs from a few years ago were probably um more chaotic whenever i would go on trips but nowadays it's just really uh, i just like to relax and do things like look at rocks you know This was the cutest vintage thrift store. They had really cute little knickknacks and bathing suits. Unfortunately, none of the bathing suits were my size, but they had just really cool stuff. I found some really cute stuff. I mean, they had a lot of things I probably could have taken home, like this jukebox, but I just got a few little items that I could actually use. These shoes that they had were actually so cute. Unfortunately, again, none of them were in my size, but they were really giving me like Barbie, like especially right now with the Barbie movie out, like this was just on point with like vintage Barbie. Even the fur coats, so you can kind of see in the background, like the fur coats were so nice and they were real fur, so they were kind of expensive, but the shoes, super cute. They even had local like artists bring in their stuff, like these handmade earrings that were super funny and cute. 